Historically, did the, Egypt, did the Israelites ever go back into the land of Egypt as a nation? That never happened. That never happened. If you, you can Google it, even in the Bible, it never happened. Right? So he ain't talking about Northeast Africa. He's talking about another slavery. Watch this. They get re This Bible get real. You know how people like to say, ah, that's just your interpretation. Interpret this for me. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery or bondage. Come on. Again. Again. Come on. With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. With ships. How would one go into slavery or bondage with ships? What are those ships called? Slave ships. What other people, other than our people, went into slavery by means of a slave ship? What are on earth? What other people on the entire planet? Mm -hmm. they, uh, ships weren't even mass production in those days. They were. They were. They, they, they didn't have factories. They, they were in mass production. They, the the, the so-called uh, Amalekites uh, commissioned the, the, the uh, slave ships. They used to be for cargo. Then they became cargo slave ships, right? They used to be for just carrying transport of uh, 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 spices, uh, teas, things like the fruits, exotic animals across the world, and everything. That was trade back then. When you when you look at the, the when you look at um uh where's that at Second Kings, right? When it talks about uh, Solomon's, Solomon's navy. yeah, Solomon's navy. It's like King Solomon had a navy, an entire fleet of ships, right? And that's you can Google that also. It's actual outside of the Bible, it's actual documents documenting way back then his actual fleets of ships. Right? And Lord no, he saw the, the white man probably got some of that stuff in a museum right now. And then they say, no, nah, it don't exist. They, it's believe it or not, like it's, you know, maybe it is, maybe it ain't. Check the Smithsonian out. And and check the, the Vatican out. And the places in those buildings you cannot go. Right? But fool for thought. So it says, the Lord is gonna bring you or the Israelites into slavery again, but this time with ships. This time with ships. Now watch this part. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Where I'm telling you this at right now, right? This is Moses back then, right? Just outside the homeland, Jerusalem. That's our homeland. Still Africa, but namely Jerusalem, right? Just outside. Remember, there's in the wilderness going right around, <laughs> right around the homeland. Most I had is lost back then, right? But he said, by the where, by the way where I'm telling y'all this, read. Thou shalt see it no more again. I ain't talking about this Egypt right over here. Because you can walk from Egypt to Jerusalem. You can walk. That's how we got there the first time. That's how Jacob got there when he went with his sons. They walked right into Jerusalem. The Suez Canal, which was man-made, didn't exist back then. Man had not dug that big trench and called it Suez Canal back then. That didn't exist. You can walk. It was dry land back then. Right? Now they made that, that, that big trench and they use it for, they, they allege they use it for cargo and then they renamed the area Middle East. So now in your mind, you don't think or associate Africa with Jerusalem. So now we can put Middle Eastern people there and Caucasian people there and now everybody's confused. Everybody's confused. Nobody understands that only a black race can live there, sustain them, be sustained there. The mother people, the sun touched them, and it turns into cancer. You ever been to Jerusalem? You ever been in the whole, I've been, it's, you've been to Africa? I mean, well, you've been in a hot place before, right? Been in a hot place, never Africa. Yeah. They can't exist there as a, as a, they don't thrive there, you understand? Huh? Cuba, yeah, Cuba's sort of like that. Cuba's sort of like that, Mediterranean type feel, right? But watch this. And there! Ye. So hold on, you're going to go into slavery by way, by, on these cargo slave ships, right? And where you go to on these cargo slave ships, right? Where they, where they stop at, where they take you to, because it was all over the place. A lot of times, look at, this, look at this map right here, look at this sign right here, right? A lot of times we only, me and you, will only associate slavery with America and Africa. That's it. But in fact, when they came to get us from Africa, we went all over, they shipped us all over. We were cargo, we were actually cargo. We weren't like, we think of ourselves as human, 
but they didn't regard us as human. Right. So they, gar they regarded you like whoever needed, who I'm selling, you know, they hustled. Huh? That's, that's property. That's property. How did we end up in the Caribbean islands? Those were banks. You go and put some slaves, I got some slaves. Uh, uh, hold, how many you need? All right, boom, make a trip on over there to Montego Bay and, and grab. That's how Haiti was formed. It was a bank. You were the money. That's right. Your people were the money. That's how we ended up in all these different places, but came from one place as one people, Israelites. Right? But watch this. It says, so, uh, uh, he sh um, read it again. Watch this. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when you got off these cargo slave ships, you're going to be sold to who? Your enemies. So God called them that. God called them that. But we beaten to nothing now. So we, ah, we ah, forget about it. Don't talk about that. That makes everybody feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Especially your neighborhood friendly white man. That makes him very, very awkward. And they do not like to say, yeah, my fathers did that. We are guilty of that to this day. You know why? Because they still to this day don't suffer the devastation of death. Nor do they try to fix the devastation of death. They don't. They give you a boatload of money after devastating. What you going to do with that money? They don't understand that that affects how we act. Yes. Hell yeah. Life. That's generational plague. Yeah. That's generational behavior. Yes. That's why we around in these yep. that's, 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 that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Of that. Because of that. <laughs> they ain't trying to fix that. They fix that. Then somebody might be somebody else might be on the top and somebody else might be on the bottom. Bring it out. You understand? You understand? Hey, I'm just saying, right? It says, when you get off these cargo slave ships, what's gonna happen? And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. To your enemy. To your enemy, not your friend, not your he's alright, he's okay. To your God called him enemy. And God don't change. We like to say, well, God, he, you know, you know, that's old. And now God is different now. No, he ain't. Show me that Bible verse. In God's word, it don't say he changed. It don't say he made no mistake. He said what he said. He meant what he meant. And he going to show you soon, too. Today and forever. That, that's right. Malachi, the book of Malachi say that. Right? Or is, that, is that Malachi? God changed not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malachi chapter 3. 2. And three. It's Malachi chapter three. Yes, sir. Watch this. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women. Come on. And no man shall buy you. Now that word "buy" there, because we were definitely bought. We were de yes, we were product, right? So it says that no man shall buy you, meaning the word buy here is used in old Quaker dialect, meaning it's a very old dialect, meaning to save or to help or redeem. You understand? So if, if I, if, if just like for instance, in the laws in Leviticus chapter 25, if my brother, let's say you owe the debt to him, right? And you, because you owe him a debt, you say, well, I can work for you for four years, right? Or seven years or whatever. I can come and buy you back from him. I can come and buy, I can just pay him what you owe him and then you free so the bible is telling you this enemy ain't talking about your, your, your if you if you got a problem with your brother we, we enemies right we can't kill each other we can't murder each other but we we can't hang out right it ain't talking about that it's talking about that same people that would not regard the young or the old that's who it's talking about a nation of fierce countenance that come from the end of the earth that's who that's talking about God is telling plainly who this man is and that it ain't your friend. It ain't your, it's not your friend. This man ain't coming with peace for you. He's not coming to help you. And he's not coming to redeem you. He right. said no man will buy you. But didn't he buy us? Right. So it ain't talking about your friendly neighborhood so-called white man. That's not who it's talking about. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with 
Roma.